Good morning, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to Friday, September 6th, and uh, Newswatch morning, and as we uh, cut down on the double talk there, that's taken care of right away. How you doing? You know, um, we seem to have rolled right through that week as uh, it being the Memorial Day weekend. I, I love these um, ads on the big tube where um, they're advertising Memorial Day sales this weekend like uh fellas it's over kids are in school okay summer's done i don't know how to break it to you um just uh you know one of those things that i see going on and i'm i'm like laughing because the people that have kids in school, especially those who uh, got kids in the band uh, and these other things, summer was over a long time ago, folks. Our kids have been busy, busy. <coughs> and for those of you that haven't gotten yourself out to a local high school football game, kind of shame on you because you know what that's the way you become part of the community you, you you get to know people you know we need those gathering places again where the community says hey our kids in the community did okay that was that was spectacular last night are we doing that I'm going to keep asking each and every day. You know, it just um, seems as though we're missing that and uh, why I'm going to make sure that we get back on track with it. Now, um, as I say each and every morning, and we get ready for it at this spot, the train is on the tracks, and Newswatch is straight ahead for you. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. Trusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Owner Bill Cast and his staff keep the tradition going with all the bakery items you remember as a kid. Just to name a few, Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and more. You can also buy homemade Cavitalian ravioli. Bill's Bake Shop, located 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoning Town section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, closed Monday. Bill's, where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223.
great dining experience. Hey, and there we go. As um, we get everything working in our studio and uh, yeah, I have my first cup of coffee here and it feels good on this uh, 50 degree morning. Winds are calm, humidity 96%, 2.49 degrees and uh, if you're uh, gandering at radar, this is what you got. You've got some ground clutter. That's the humidity around us. You can see it right under the G. We'll get you more on Lawrence County 45 weather as we roll on. And uh, a lot of roll <coughs> rolling on to do. And um, have you been to Vinte Say? The atmosphere is great. And as fall kind of slips away from us. Maybe this is one thing you gotta try. Denny, <coughs> you're invited this Saturday where cool meets cool. It's a cool festival. Saturday, four o'clock, Vinte say. Give it a try. You'll, uh, you really will enjoy it. And, uh, as I have to readjust one of our screens, um, and that's been taken care of. There we go. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed something fun last night, like bingo or one of those things that were um, going on quite a few <coughs> but let me tell you something else kind of going on it's hockey now um, Saturday drop the gloves against cancer do you get more at their website dropthegloves.tk they um they're doing a phenomenal job and uh, it's absolutely excellent make sure that you check it out nctv45 will be there and um we'll kind of uh pick up a live feed uh, it snuck up on us and it was um, terribly amazing how all of a sudden it's dropped the gloves against cancer. Bing! And um, so uh, that's a that's a real big thing. Now, up in Meadville at the Meadville Recreation Complex They've got Bulldogs Hockey Camp Saturday, 4 to 7. And don't forget, up there, they're going to have the Learn to Play Hockey with the Little Penguins. Little Penguins Learn to Play Hockey in Meadville, and that starts on the 21st. So, um, just a, a, a lot of nice things going on in the hockey world. You go to Vint, they say, get a nice bottle of wine, and watch it on your phone. 
What does it do? Cool. I love when I come in a building here. Michelle sometimes always has on her cool jazz station. And um, kind of takes me back to my Duquesne days. You know, speaking of going back, do you remember Westgate Plaza? <clears throat> Treasure Island, A&M, Eckerd's, Isley's, s and Green Stamps. A lot of great things. Well, the plaza has had a makeover. There's true value there. There is Sparkle. Movie theaters, of course, still there. But UPMC's in one corner. Bucky Richards Barbershop, still there. And there's the Health Hut. Now, they're going to have a grand opening carnival at Westgate. They're calling it Carnival Westgate Center. Cornhole, face painting, clowns, games, travel, vendors, okay, uh, jugglers, dancers. Saturday, the 7th, 12 to 4. Now, why not take the kids up? The weather is supposed to be spectacular. Maybe your husband's watching a game or something. A little carnival like this, they'll really, really enjoy it. So, uh, grand opening, carnival at Westgate. Plus, you'll get to go to Sparkle. And how good is that? Kill two birds with one stone. Now, um, in sports, well, it was the Packers. 10-3 over the Bears. And in baseball, how about this? The Pirates lost 10-7. And the Indians lost 7-1. So uh, let's get to Cedar Sports Corner. Find out what else is going on in the sports world. We'll be right back. The, the Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hello, and once again to the Cedar Sports Corner, and uh, yes, Let's get to college football. William & Mary taking on Virginia. Down on the ACC Network. Wake Forest takes on Rice. That's on CBS Sports Network. Marshall takes on Boise State. Boise State's number 24. That's on ESPN2 and on the Pac-12 Network. Sacramento State takes on Arizona State. Those Sun Devils. Now, um... We are your home for high school football. We'll have the Newcastle South Bay Ag Contest. And uh, so uh, tune in and enjoy and watch those Red Hurricane. Now, in Major League Baseball, and um, St. Louis at Pittsburgh, 705 start. And uh, Cleveland. They're at Minnesota for an 8 10 start. Elsewhere, you've got the Yankees at Boston, 7 10 start. Philadelphia at the Mets, 7 10 start. Texas is at Baltimore, 7 05. And the 
Cubs take you on Milwaukee. That's at 8 o'clock. Now your late games, Colorado will be at San Diego and San Francisco will be at the Los Angeles Dodgers. That is the Cedars Sports Corner Report. And uh, go to Cedars, get some great wings, and uh, just enjoy. Gonna get a cold beverage. Enjoy the games. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from this program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Brandon Cummings, Lower Operator. Penn, Ohio Bottled Water Company. Home residential, commercial, water coolers. You can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. We're fast, efficient, and we deliver water. We offer 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. Contact us today at 724-498-4760. Well, we're back in the, I, I'm sorry, I got to scratch my neck. Wow. Okay, and you know, the Hoyt, they got a lot of great things going on. First of all, I got to tell you that I absolutely love their display down at the Confluence. I've, I've been to a few things. Some of the things, I, I don't, you know, art is what a person appreciates. I've been to some of their things that I've truly appreciated. And I say, you know, those guys aren't too bad at the Hoyt. And one of the things that they have is the display down at the Confluence. But here's something else they have. Just to let you know. They have the after school workshops starting on the 17th. Give them a call, 724-652-2882. And check out the Hoyt. They got a lot of great things going on. Now, uh, a lot of you know, uh, especially those that watch the show every morning. And I came down pretty hard on Chris Fry and that was because of his one statement about incubators but yet he's not had the whatever to set foot in this place now however in the those statements that I made the other day I still uh, make sure that everybody gets the word out, and I think that's important. Greg Malchek, you remember him, he ran for political office as a state representative. He's having a meet and greet with Chris Fry. And this is Monday at 6.30. Delaware Avenue, 1906 Delaware. And I think it's important. I think uh, as, <clears throat> as integrity goes, Chris is a good person. I have nothing against the guy. I'm a little upset with him that he hasn't made his way in. And there's some things I'd like to have him explain. At least maybe to me personally, if not on the show. But anyways, he's having that meet and greet, 1906 Delaware. Get out and meet Chris Fry. And hey, 
you send me a, a, a news release, I'm, you know, I look, I evaluate it. If I think it's important to the community, I put it on. That's important to the community. And uh, maybe Mr. Rice, you can let him know that I said that. Now, uh, the Knights of Columbus, they're having their steak fry. And that's Saturday, the 7th, dinner at 6, or social hour at 6, dinner at 7. Uh, call Brian, Frank, for any questions, 724-658-8132. I think uh, they're a great group of guys, too. Now, um, how about this weather? Yesterday, just absolutely dropped down gorgeous. And uh, right now, <clears throat> this is ground clutter. Okay, it's nothing more than that. And um, it's because of that heavy dew on the ground. I, I mean, <clears throat> so when I say ground clutter, I do mean ground clutter. Now, um, here's what you got <clears throat> as far as your conditions right now, Newcastle Airport. 50, and they're saying fog mist. That's just their way of labeling it. So it's 50 degrees. I personally like it. It's feeling brisk. 96% humidity because if you have your car out, it's going to be wet. Winds are calm. Barometric pressure almost at 30. 29.99. Dew point 49 degrees and visibility 6 miles. Now, um, let's get to Lawrence County 45 weather. Find out about the rest of your day. If you're having a party, then Keystone Special. weather well after last night's mostly clear low of 53 and uh, well we're getting a little chilly a little early taste of fall as uh, we swing through September how's your Friday looking and looking for those high school football games uh, well let's take a look as you look at local radar, what you see is a lot of ground clover. Cl clover? How about clutter? Now, um, as you look at the national scene, you start to pick up the idea that the skies are clear, the tropical depression is out there, and... Um, other than that, not much going to affect our weather. So uh, let's take a look. Friday, sunny, 75. Friday night, partly cloudy, 55. Carbon copy, Saturday, sunny and 74. Saturday night, 
partly cloudy and 54. Now Sunday, partly sunny, 74. Sunday night, mostly cloudy, 54. Monday, mostly sunny, 74. Monday night, partly cloudy, 56. Tuesday, sunshine and 79. Tuesday night, partly cloudy and 62. And Wednesday, sunshine and 61. As uh, that was Lawrence County 45 weather, take a little jacket to the football game. Uh, it's going to be a little chilly tonight. And uh, just get out there and enjoy. Stand We're going to take this break. We'll is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Go and Sons Sales and Service, 347 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero Turn Country Clippers, made in the USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon. They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652. 6911. Party is the place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty. Party supplies and so much more. Remember, they have those fall decorations, winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle. Mill Street. Vinte Say in Newcastle is a premier winery located on Newcastle's southeast side on Wilson Avenue. Vinte Say open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday features a variety of fine wines and also fine food. Vinte Say for the very best. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Well, we're back, and uh, you know. Yesterday was a day of caring in our community. Uh, painting, cleaning, landscaping, remodeling, that all took place. Um, and a special thanks to those volunteers who gave their time and talents to help nonprofit agencies in our area for the annual day of caring. The day started at 8 with a full buffet breakfast donated by the doors catering at the Cascade Park Pavilion. Work continued throughout the day even outside the NCTV 45 studios as uh, the sponsors of the day of caring um, continued to help and rehabilitate if you would the structures and everything around the city. Gail Young welcomed 250 volunteers from corporations, businesses, churches, clubs, students to help the nonprofits and um, recreations in Lawrence County. Uh, this event will kick off 2019's United Way campaign that raises funds for local charities and programs. This year's goal 
420000 Remember, when that money's raised, and I know this from years, it stays right here in Lawrence County. So, um, give to the United Way. They help people right here in our place. Now, um, Ashley's Angels, they're having a benefit in a Chinese auction. 50-50 raffle. That's Sunday, September 8th. Sons of Italy, 1 to 8. Tickets are $10. DJ Mark Suber, and I wonder if Mark will, if it's Mark Suber's son, he'll be there with Mark Russo Jr. Star Funkel, contact Luanda at 724-498-5723 for tickets. They can be purchased by contacting her. And, um, you know, I said about Mark Zuber's son. Well, <coughs> you know, we're not far off that CYO basketball bank went to 20th of October. And um, Buggy Richards, Shipping Depot, J&M Mini Mart, Joseph's and the Sons of Italy. You can get their tickets there. Um, it's going to be a great time. Everybody knows Bucky as a commissioner of the league. I coached early at Madonna, Our Lady at Chestahova, and then moving on to the St. Mary's Fighting Irish. It only stands to reason. I mean, so, uh, and also this weekend at um, Mary Mother Hope, Yes, noon to five, pro-life spaghetti dinner. We're going to tell you more about it at noon, but adults, $10. Children, 12 and under, four. Under three, they're free. So pro-life dinner, mark that down. Let's hear from these great sponsors. We'll be right back. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program. Located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, town and country, and on target. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450. Newcastle's community television station. Well, that's going to do it for us here at NCTV 45. And once again, giving you that uh, weather. Currently 50 degrees in Newcastle. And uh, we're going to get up to a sunny high of 76. So um, make sure that you get out and do something positive. And uh, make sure that you tell a friend. And have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, oh, you know, I don't watch a lot of television. You tell them that NCTV 45, we're available anytime on your time. That's right. If you're an early riser, you can get up, watch us early in the morning. If you get up around 8, 
That's not a problem. You can watch us at eight. Maybe you get up in the middle. Maybe you don't have kids anymore, but we give you that first kind of glance at what's going on, and then it just holds true for the rest of your day. And um, we like to keep you a keep you up, keep you knowing what's happening. Now, as we move on through this day, we always give you a little song of the day. And uh, this song, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, Lady Will Power. So um, have a great day and uh, get that second cup of coffee. Have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon. One thing you can be sure